All right, guys, so we're going to get started. Welcome, everybody, to our weekly Team Perseverance team call. It is September 26th. My name is Dave Atkins. I'm the founding coach of Team Perseverance and one of your upline Star Diamond coaches. And tonight, I'm excited about tonight's call for our guest speaker, one of our coaches, Kristen O'Dell, who's just an absolute workhorse, who's about to pop a baby out, who is at Summit walking around. And I remember saying, Chris and I got to get you on a call, and I tried to get her on a couple weeks ago. We were finally able to schedule it tonight. So I'm super excited to have Kristen speak tonight. She sent me a whole presentation of slides. She's really going to bring you guys some unbelievable content. But first, before we get into that, get into that um, I have a couple of announcements. I don't have many because we want to get right into um, Kristen tonight, and I just want to go over a couple quick things first. So guys, first is this. The health bet is in the last week this week. So I hope many of you have been logging in your Shakeology five times a week and your workouts at least three times a week within your health bet challenge group through the challenge tracker app so that you get your piece of the pot of the over million dollars that's out there. So this is in week four, but most importantly, guys, is make sure that the exit video, you know, we have an exit video in Team Perseverance or your upline diamond has one is being posted in your challenge group for um, week four so that you can then follow up with your people to see if they'd be interested in joining our team. Now, guys, this is the thing, because I've been helping a lot of coaches one-on-one -on -one lately, and what I have found is I can't stress enough that we have systems, meaning scripts, which means it's exact words, which means it's broken down to exactly what you need to send your challengers after they're in the challenge group or in the last week of week four. If you go to the files section of the Coaches of Team Perseverance page, you will see that there's an email message to send prospective coaches. That is, in fact, the message that you need to send your prospective coaches, your challengers. Make sure you use that script. It's there for you. So that's week four. I've been finding a lot of people have been talking on the phone which isn't horrible, but when you're early and you're new, sometimes we tend to talk people out of it, right? So make sure you're using those messages. So that's the health bet. Next, this one's important, guys. The launch of core, the core de force is coming out on November 1st. Right, Chris? November 1st, right? Core de force? Yes, November. I was just confirming the date. It's coming out on November 1st. So what we are doing as a team, and we had a call with all the diamonds last week, the one thing I, I love, guys, is that don't take for granted the things that you have with team perseverance and the fact that you have a team and diamonds to help you guys be successful. What do I mean by that? When I signed up and my coach quit, I didn't have any help. And what we have done, this is a prime example, is we have come up with a way to how we can roll out the launch of Core to Force. So what we're going to do, and Kristen posted a video on the Coaches of Team Perseverance page, and she posted a doc with all the specifics that you should absolutely go watch Kristen, and you should go look at the doc. But this is the short and short of it, is that the week before November 1st of the launch, we are going to ask people who want to join, we want to get people, not coaches, well, coaches are allowed in it, but you as a coach want to get people to join that group for free for a week. They're going to sign up for the free Team Beachbody Club membership. You get it free for 30 days. If they sign up for that club membership free for 30 days, they will get access to Beachbody On Demand. On Beachbody On Demand, they are releasing in October one workout from Core to Force, which is MMA Speed. If you go in Beachbody On Demand, the streaming service, you will also notice that Joel and Jericho have their own bot exclusive workouts. So we are going to take those five workouts and give nutritional tips. And we, the diamonds, the leaders, are going to come up with the exact content that you will need so you can run your free group and know exactly what to post. What we're trying to do is we're trying to get as many people who aren't coaches as possible to fall in love with Joel and Jericho and Core to Force so that when it comes out on November 1st, they then in fact will want to get in our regular challenge group in November, which we're going to call, you know, a Core to Force test group. We're using the word test group, kind of another name for challenge group, because it kind of is enticing to people that, hey, you want to be in our test group 
Accord de Force. We're just renaming it. It's enticing. How do you get people you want to be in there? You give them unbelievable access with Beachbody On Demand for free for a week with the workouts. They're going to have access to the Fixate Cooking Show, which is some great stuff in there with Autumn and her brother, who's a chef. So we're giving a ton of great material for that week so that then, then we can tell them it will guarantee you a spot in our challenge group in November. So what do you need to be doing right now? This is what you all need to be doing right now. For the next three weeks, you need to be talking about core de force. If you need to put a reminder in your phone to every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, you are either going and trying out um, when it gets put on Beachbody On Demand, the MMA Speed Workout, and record a video yourself. If you are, and we're going to get them into the Coaches and Team Perseverance page, a lot of the before and after photos, I'll ask Kristen to do that. We have a way to get you guys all the before and afters of what's going on in the test group right now. Kristen's in the test group. She had phenomenal results in 30 days. They're, they are in probably week six right now to get you the photos to share. So maybe every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday evening, you can, in fact, share a transformation story, okay? But you want to be really, I guess it's going to be pushing out the excitement of core to force. You want to be talking about core to force. Maybe you want to be doing Les Mills workouts at, or body a body pump if you have it or body Les Mills pump body combat. Oh my God, I'm losing my words here. Workouts from in fact Joel and Jericho that they, that what they were in prior. Basically, what I'm getting at is you want to be really creating a hype for the next three weeks up until that week that free group in October. Go check Kristen's post out. Go check Kristen's video out. That's the big launch, and we will eventually get the, a doc up there with the exact post for you what you need to do for the week. Sound good? Are there any questions with that, guys? This is an unbelievable opportunity for you guys to give away free content that you don't have to put together to leverage so that you have people for November. This program is phenomenal. There should be no excuse why nobody hits Success Club in November. Really, it should be no excuse why you don't hit Success Club any month, to be honest, but it should be a must. Anybody, any questions with that? No. All right, there's no questions, guys. I'm going to get right into recognition. Um, I just want to go over coaches that ha are on the weak leg team volume this past week for um, Team Perseverance. So let me go through. Let me pull it up here. This is the week of September 15th to the 21st. In the 300 Club, you have Angela McLaughlin, Maria Peterson, Elizabeth Mangione, Kristen Atkins, Second Business Center, Laura Fagan, Bob Strecco, Margaret Michelle, Gregory Armstrong, Lisa Marr, Robin Reed, Shana Carlucci, and Jessica Armstrong. In the 500 Club, we have Lindsay Medvin, Elizabeth Mullenbrook, Lindsay Kaufman, Maureen Garrett, Darlene Champ, Kelly Della Vecchia, Michelle Della Sala, Mary Pasilia, Devin Wheaton, Shannon Larice, Gina Strecco, and Mike Holdman. In the Thousand Club, we have Jennifer Holdman, Tony Carlucci, Denise Bropson, Tara Richmond, my second CBC, and Jeff Nolson. In the 2000 Club, Sharice Nolson. In the 3000 Club, Kristen Atkins, Shanna Carlucci, Stacey Larice, and the 10,000 Club, myself. So everybody whose names are on there, congratulations to you um, for being in the weak leg team buyer. That means you are building your team, you are growing your business, and kudos to you if, in fact, your name was heard. So are there any general questions, guys, before we get into tonight's Call topic, anybody. All right, guys, so without further ado, I'm really excited to introduce to you Kristen O'Dell, a nurse, a mom, a expecting mom to be real soon, a diamond coach on our team, one of our main leaders on the Market Council. She's a go-to person with Westchester Market Council that really helps at our events here locally. I'm an absolute, absolute rock star, and I'm super excited she's going to share her story, her top tips. So without further ado, Kristen, I'm going to unmute your line, and the floor is yours. Hi, everybody. Can you all hear me okay? Yes, you're yeah? all set. Okay, good. Thanks so much for having me on the call. I'm very honored. Uh, you guys are my grandparent team, and I don't need to go beyond that because I love being part of Team P, and I'm also part of Team Spark, which is Jen Holdman's team, and my own team is the Naturally Nutritious, um, Team Naturally Nutritious. So. I'm so honored to be here, and I have just a little presentation. I'm going to share my screen 
So um, just to tell you a little bit about me. And let's see, share screen. How is it looking? Good? Can you see that? Okay. Um, so this is me, Naturally Nutritious Nurse. My slogan is grow your goals. Um, and uh, just a little bit about who I am. Um, I'm a nurse practitioner. I'm a family nurse practitioner by profession. And I practice in neonatology, which is preemies. So I do work with little babies. Um, I'm a wife to my high school sweetheart, Jay. There he is over there with my little boy, Oliver. We have Oliver O and Odell. We call him Triple O. And we have another one on the way. I'm due on Friday. So we're on baby watch right now. It can happen any moment. I'm so happy it didn't happen yet. So I could be here tonight. <laughs> um, I'm an ACE certified health coach. That's something I've done since becoming a beach body coach. And I'm currently a diamond level beach body close and so close to becoming one star. It's something I'm working on right now. I'm a member, as Dave said, of the Westchester Market Council, so I'm really involved in attending all of our live events and being a part of our Super Saturday slash Super Sundays. I think they're awesome, and I haven't missed one yet since becoming a coach. And an uh, unknown fact about me is I'm actually an ice cream shop owner, which is quite interesting for a Beachbody coach to also own an ice cream shop, but might be a good place to find um, some new business prospects. You never know. But it's actually my husband's little baby. Beachbody's my baby, and the ice cream shop is his baby. But people find that pretty funny with the two of us. So. My weight loss story in a nutshell is um, I'm a cereal yo-yo dieter pretty much my whole life. Um, you know, from teenage on, even in high school, I was a size 12, size 14. That was just what I thought was normal for me. Um, going away to college, gained a lot of weight, and then started my yo-yo career from that point on. Um, I tried every diet in the book. I could always be successful, but I never was able to keep the weight off for an extended period of time. And I never really was able to get down to a really healthy, healthy weight. Um, and most of my diets were what you would consider crash. I wanted fast. I would, um, you know, diet for a month or two and lose 30 pounds really quick. But a month or two after that, I'd put it all back on. I'm a sugar addict, definitely love sugar, um, which isn't good. I have diabetes in the family, and that's part of my why for trying to lose my weight. Um, and I've actually always been very active. I, I love to do outdoors things. I'm an avid hiker. I'm a snowshoer and things like that. But I just never really knew how to do the right things, and I didn't always exercise every single day like I do now. I mean, I miss days, don't get me wrong. But I would hike long hikes and maybe once or twice a week rather than working out, you know, five to seven times a week. I have gym intimidation. I really dislike going to gyms, but I have joined probably quite a few in the years, just like everybody does in January. Um, and I really don't like going. I mean, classes, I always find it hard to get there on time. And I found that I felt like everyone's always looking at me in the gym and judging me and thinking about, you know, my lifting that weight the right way because I really didn't know what I was doing. So I dislike gyms, which is why I love home workouts. Um, I actually am a triathlete. I've competed in three triathlons before, mostly at 180 pounds. So I've been active even when I was larger. Um, but even training for triathlons three and four hours a day still never got me down to a healthy weight. I never got below 160 while I was training. Um, I also have a history of having lap bands. So after doing all of this yo-yo dieting and working out and working out three and four hours a day on triathlon training, I was frustrated that I still could never be healthy. And um, after marrying my husband, I wanted a really healthy pregnancy because of what I do for a living. I see many people who are obese and overweight have a lot of problems in their pregnancy and their babies suffer for it as well. So it was my motivation to finally try to finally lose my weight. And we decided to put off having kids and I was gonna have lap band. I had it in 2012 and um, I lost some weight. I actually had a complication, had it done again in 2013. I had to have a revision, so I had more major surgery. And still, even with the lap band, it didn't get me down to the weight that was my goal weight. Got me about halfway there. The band is a tool to be used, but it's not a magic pill or a magic procedure. And after it helped me lose about 40, 45 of my 80 pounds that I wanted to lose, I just sort of tapered off and stopped losing. 
And that's when my coach sort of found me. Lisa Marr is my coach. She messaged me on Facebook and I started out with the 21 day fix. And after that, I lost about another 35 pounds and I lost a whole bunch of sizes and I became a 21 day fix addict and an autumn lover. So that's sort of my weight loss story. As far as Beachbody goes, um, I joined as a challenger with Lisa in one of her challenge groups back in July last summer with a 21 day fix. I bought a challenge pack, but I wasn't going to buy the challenge pack. I was actually just going to get the program because I didn't need Shakeology. I was one of those people. I already had protein shakes I was drinking. My doctor had me on certain ones. I didn't need it. Um, but Lisa told me about the money back guarantee and I'm the type of person that would actually send it back if I didn't like it. So I decided to give it a try. And after that first month, my results were so awesome with everything in a nutshell, having the program, the support, the Shakeology, the diet. Um, and it totally, I just saw a transformation in my body that I'd never seen before. And I was hooked from that point on. So the next month, I became a discount coach. I only wanted to do the discount. I don't want to coach anybody. I don't have time for that. I work a lot of jobs. I have a family. I just want to get my 25% off and be on my way. So I made that very clear. And um, I signed up and within one week, I did a little research into the business of Beachbody. Um, watched a whole bunch of YouTube videos of some of the top coaches learned a little bit about a binary business system. And within my first week, I was um, very interested in working the business. I had had a lot of people who were interested in my own results and how I had done so far for the last month. And I realized that, you know, this was something that I could do to help others. If I was feeling so great with this, why not just, you know, help out a few friends and family and maybe get my own shakes for free. So even at that point, I wasn't going to go all in, but just, you know, if anyone was interested. Um, in that point, I did a few more rounds of the 21 day fix and I dropped my 20 to 30 pounds and pretty much got to my goal weight. I dropped from a size 12 to a size four um, with those rounds of 21 day fix. So my, my goal was to be a size eight. So I actually blew past that and went down to a four. So I was so excited. Um, and then I really much took every free training available to me. I started going to our team calls after joining on as a discount coach. And I was asked if I wanted to do coach basics. So I did it and it sort of, you know, evolved and grew as far as my business and as far as my love for it beyond that. Um, in the beginning, I didn't do personal development, probably not for the first three months. Um, I figured I was a pretty cool chick and I don't need any personal development. So it wasn't for me. I thought that was some guru kind of stuff that people threw their money away on and I really didn't need any of that. Um, but you know, it took me some time to learn exactly what personal development is and it's really different for every single person. And um, I think I started reading the compound effect for a coach basics, which I actually really liked. And and it kind of grew beyond that where I started to really investigate different types of personal development because some of the raw, raw stuff isn't for me, but I liked more of the technical things and uh, I'll get into that later. I'm a success club starter. So I did earn a free ticket to summon in my third month because I sort of hit the business running after that point. And I really just wanted to soak up all the training that was there. And I heard about this thing called success club and you could win like bobbleheads and stuff. So I like, I don't really need a bobblehead, but if there's something out there to be won, I get a little bit competitive and like want to win it. So I think the first month I, it was a webinar or something. And then the next month it was like P90X was the success club prize. Those things like super <laughs> motivated me. And next thing you know, I was success. I hit success club for the first three months. Um, just from, you know, a warm market, friends and family who saw my results and wanted to give it a try. So I sort of practiced my coaching on them and earned my ticket to Summit. I'm currently a Success Club 5 All-Star. This is my 15th month in a row of meeting Success Club. It's a non-negotiable for me in my business. I do everything I can up until the last hour. And Jen Holdman knows there's a few months where I literally made Success Club at 1130 at night on the last day of the month. 
um, because we laugh about it. But I have made it, and it's something that I definitely said is a non-negotiable for myself. And I became a diamond coach in June 2015, so about a year being. I wanted to be emerald quicker than I was. I wanted to be diamond quicker than I was, but I'm still proud of the goals I set for myself and where I got. And this is, you know, how, how I did it. So, um, I'm working on one star. I'm very close to making my husband a diamond. So, um, how I treat my beach body business. So you can see over, there's just some of the buzzwords I've used for myself. Um, you know, I've taken a lot of different courses, some free ones to really investigate like who I am as a coach and who I am as a business person. And I realized the potential of this business and this company very early on, and I really hit the ground running. So I identify more with coaches that are very self-taught and very motivated. Um, and that's just really who I work best with. I really saw the bigger picture in this business and down the line, what it can do for my life and my family. Um, I understood that it really is going to take hard work and time, but if you are persistent, that you can reap a lot in the long run. Um, and it's actually um, kind of a low risk sort of business to start up. You can do it at your own pace. It doesn't cost a huge amount of money. It's a smaller financial investment than other businesses. I've looked into starting other businesses and I don't, I get nervous. I'm scared to really put in a huge amount of money, um, get a storefront, something else like that. I've wanted to do a business for myself, but I really was attracted to this company and doing health coaching because it was very rewarding for me to help people lose weight look better, feel better. And at the same time, it was a very small risk and a small investment for myself. Um, I get a huge physical benefit from being a beach body coach. And um, my husband is quoted as saying to me in the very beginning when I wanted to do this business, I said, what do you think, honey? He has a business degree. So he's sort of my, my numbers guy, my business guy. And I ran it all by him. We talked about a binary business system and what it meant for us and our family. And I said, what do you think? And he said, you know what, honey? The worst case scenario is that you can just decide one day you don't want to do it anymore. And you have gotten in the best shape of your life. And I said, you know what, babe, you're absolutely right. It's such a great thing because anytime I want to, I can decide to stop. I'm not really, you know, invested in it. And, and you are invested in it in time, but you, you can decide whatever you want to do with your life. It's not going to hurt us as a family. And at the same time, it really can only benefit us. So he said, go for it. So I did. Um, I'm very confident in myself. I'm a self-learner, very self-motivated, and I consider myself a natural leader. And so that's sort of how I took off with this business and took off with Team P and Team Spark and, and trying to help out with the teams. Um, tonight, I'm just going to go over a few of my best coaching tips, the things that I think that make me who I am and make me the type of coach that I am and how I've gotten to where I am in the last year. Um, I think obviously we all know what the four vital behaviors are. Those are, you know, definitely non-negotiables for me. Um, training is a big thing for me. We have, there's so much, you know, free training out there for us. So my, my tip is to take advantage of all of it that you can. Um, learning and planning, there, there's so much out there to learn. A lot of it, like I said, is free, but it's also really important to plan your business. Um, business organization is also really important. I treat this business like a job, like I would one of my nursing jobs. Um, it's serious to me and I try to be reliable and show up and do things when I say I'm going to do and, you know, I treat it like a, like a profession because that's what I do on a regular basis and have non-negotiables for yourself. And then finally, don't be your own worst enemy. Have goals, be confident, don't give up, and use personal development to kind of, mod, you know, move yourself along within your business rather than talk yourself out of it. So here we go, the four vital behaviors, in case you all forgot what they are. I mean, I'm putting them right here. Invite, invite, invite. Um, you know, everyone's probably going to have one thing on this list that you struggle with the most. So it's really good to know these, like the back of your heart and the back of your mind, and know which one you struggle with the most because that's probably where you want to focus a lot of your PD on. 
Um, so every day we should be inviting, every day we should be the proof of the product works. This one's easy for me because being a proof of the product works, it's something that it's one of the reasons why I'm a beach body coach is I really love the motivation of running my groups and, um, you know, having my groups depend on me and my clients depend on me. So I need to continue on with my own journey so that they see it. So two is probably the easiest one for me. Um, I love recognition. I think it's fun. And it was part of what drew me to this company was when I was recognized for things and and I realized there's like a, a bigger group here with the support and having that recognition is really important. So I love that one. Personal development, I ignored in the beginning, but now I do personal development more than the 10 minutes a day that most people do. And I do it in different ways. Um, probably the invites the hardest. And for me, that's just because I have a really crazy schedule and I don't always have time to work an hour of my business every day. And I might find one day I work three hours of it and one day I didn't do much. So I have a very odd routine, which I'll tell you about. But the invite, that's the hardest thing. In the very beginning, I didn't know what it meant to invite people. And I had to learn about forming and learn about all of the tools. But it's all there for you. And, and there's all that training showing you exactly what to do. And if you ignore it, then, you know, people have already figured out what works. So it's really important to just learn what they're teaching you and, and do it because it's amazing when it starts to work. Um, and of course, down below, I put know your why. That's a big one. You know, know why you're doing this business. You know, I have a lot of whys. I have things that I want to do for my family. I have, you know, I work two jobs right now. I'm pregnant here. I would love to quit one. So my goal right now, my shorter term goal is to build up my business enough where I can quit my second job without feeling a financial strain. Um, but in the long run, maybe I'd like to quit my first job. I don't know. I like being a nurse, but I haven't really gotten that far yet. Um, you know, but I have a lot of whys, which I'll show you later on too. Oh my goodness. Did I just lose the whole thing? Here we go. So next is. Um, you know, training and learning. So take advantage of all the help. From the very beginning, I've done coach basics. I've done emerald training, diamond training, amp training. I'm currently in dollars to diamonds. I know there's another one or two out there that I've taken a part of when they've been run by my upline. I listen to every Monday call. And if I miss it, I always listen to the replay. And there are free webinars out there, all of our team calls, and I attend all live events. These things were told to me in the very beginning, if you want to be successful in this business, you need to do these things. And I just listened. And it's become part of my lifestyle. I've taken a branding course to try to figure out where I am in my brand. Um, I've taken a course in Pinterest. And I've taken courses in website building. I take, I've, since I've become a Beachbody coach, I've taken the ACE Health Coach Certification. Um, and it's really important to just keep learning. This is PD right here. For me, it's not always about, um, you know, doing something to build up my confidence because that's not what I need. I want to learn more about website building or business because I don't have a business degree. So I found things that I was weak in that I wanted to learn, and that's what I'm reading about. Um, and it's important to have variety too. So, you know, change it up what you're reading and what you're learning and listening to. I do a lot of my PD in the car too with a, um, you know, CD player, things like that. Cause I don't always have a lot of time to read books. Um, the other tip that I do is when I'm in these trainings, a lot of times I save them. When I'm in the AMP training, the Emerald training, Diamond training, any of them, I have a doc. And each day when I'm doing the training, I save it in the doc. So maybe later on when I want to run a Diamond training for my team down the line, whenever that may be, I have something I can start with that I can build my own training on or use that. So I'll, since from the very beginning, I've saved so much of the training because it's wonderful. I found that it helps me, that I learned that it was easy for me to learn with. And so I would save it in a document so that eventually you can duplicate it for yourself and share it. Um, as far as the training and the learning, Rome wasn't built in a day. So for me, you know, it's, I have a long-term plan for my business. I wasn't in it just to make a little bit of money. I have a longer term plan and I'm okay with spending some money on my business right now in order to make more later on. So I keep all my beach body money very separate from my household money. And when I need something like business cards or help with my website, the money comes from there. So I use my beach body money back into my beach body business. And um, I just feel it's more important to invest in myself now because hopefully that will make me more later on. I don't spend that money that I make on other things. Um, it sits there and grows or it goes back into my business.
Um, and it takes time to learn this business. So what I tell new coaches who are interested in working the business is think about what you do for a living now. So if you're a nurse or you're a teacher or whatever it is that you do, how long did it take you to get comfortable in that position? How long did it take you to feel comfortable as a teacher or comfortable as a nurse giving somebody an IV? It took me years to feel comfortable as a nurse to really feel like I knew what I was doing. But it definitely took quite a few months of hands-on training with the preceptor to feel really good. So a lot of people start this business and they think they're going to be doing it and making tons of money in the first two to three months. And, you know, it takes sometimes six months to really learn the business and feel comfortable with it. So I try to tell people, you know, just keep learning the business, keep plugging away at it. But give it the same time and the same learning that you did for your current profession or job. However long it took you to get comfortable with that, it's probably going to take you that or a little bit longer with this business because there's so much to it and there's so many new things that you can learn and it's changing all the time too. Branding. So probably one of the best courses that I've taken in the year is a branding course. And it really helped me focus my business, find my tribe, capitalize on who I am. Because it's really, if you're appealing to everyone, you really appeal to no one. So you really want to find out who you are. Um, they use a term called an avatar, which is basically who your market is. Who, who is and sometimes that's you whoever you are. And for me, it's somewhat me. It's somewhat working moms. It's nurses. But I also have a target market with people who have diabetes and need lifestyle changes. Um, and I also have a market with weight loss surgery patients. So I tend to market myself to a few different avatars, but taking the branding course really helped me focus my business, which also helps me advertise myself. And through that course, I also created a logo a rally cry, a vision, and eventually a website, which just went live recently and took me quite some time to get there. But I thought that, you know, you don't have to have a website to do well in this business. Some of the top beach body coaches don't. Um, but personally for me, when I um, find a new business, like um, an exercise class or like the gymnastics class for my son, the first thing I'm going to do is go check out their website and look for their class schedule and see if anybody said anything about it. And, you know, I, everyone does in today's world. I feel like the first thing everybody does is go to their website. And if there isn't one there for me, I felt like it just didn't legitimize me as much. So it was a goal for me to have a personal website separate from my Beachbody website. That was more something I could customize. Um, and it took me some time to get there. It's a lot of work, but it's something I'm really glad that I did. And I, and I just took my time with it and got there when it was ready. Um, business organization system, that's another thing for training and learning. You know, I didn't have any of this. This was all new to me because I'm a nurse. I never ran a business before. But I had to learn about, you know, running my challenge groups, how to invite people, how to set them up. Google Forms, a CRM is a contact resource management system, and people use things like TeamZ. There's a lot of different ways that you can organize your contacts. Um, it's and something I'm learning about and something I need to do to stay organized. A follow-up system, how you're going to remember you know, who to follow up with so people don't fall through the cracks. Having a calendar event so that you stay on task for yourself and you don't forget things like core to force announcements. Um, you know, having a posting schedule for your Facebook posts and running your challenge groups, just having some sort of organization. Every coach does something a little different, but it's really good for you to learn from all the other coaches what they're doing and then pull from that what you think will work for you. And this takes time. It takes time to learn this. So through this branding course and everything like that, I kind of, you know, my logo, this is my logo up in the top corner, my brand, it kind of explains who I am a little bit. My rally cry is I help people grow their goals. And through this, I created a website. Um, let's see. I don't, oh, yeah, there it goes. So there's, there's my website there. But anybody's welcome to tool around on it. But it's very beach body oriented and it tells people a little bit more about my story, who I am, my team, all of our fitness programs, um, nutrition, you know, and I had help building this. I had a great team of people helping me with this, but I, I, it, was, it was like a labor of love for me. So I was very excited about that. Um, so that was sort of where I think probably the best course for me was the branding course. And I felt like my business could grow from that point on. 
as far as planning your own business, it's really good to have a posting schedule. You all know this. I think, you know, I'm best on Facebook. I don't really get Instagram. I'm trying to do Snapchat, but for me, I like Facebook. So get to know one social media really, really well and have a schedule of some sort. I struggle with this. I don't post on a schedule and that's because I work different shifts every week. I'm not home at the same time. I'm gone at night. I'm gone on weekends. I'm gone during the day. So I do schedule my posts sometimes when I'm good at it, but there are days I don't. And I just sort of post when it strikes me, which sometimes isn't the best thing to do. So this is something I struggle with. Um, a calendar is great to have because you can kind of look ahead and see what groups are coming up, what free groups you're running, um, any sneak peeks that your team might be running, trainings that are coming up. So I also keep like a written calendar and I can kind of look ahead for the month and see what I need to be focusing on for my clients and for my posts. Um, a vision board. So this is something that really I love doing. Some people hate doing them, but for me, it really puts my business. I'm a visual learner. I like to see pictures and see video and things like that. I love watching YouTube videos. It's just something about look, watching it helps me. So I really like vision boards. I make a new one every three to six months and I post it where I can see it. It gets carried around with me and I check in with it often to make sure I'm sort of in line with, you know, meeting those goals that I've set for myself. Um, and they're kind of cool to look back on like a year ago, what it looked like and to see everything that you've accomplished and things that you've put on that board that you wanted to work on that you've done ready because you forget sometimes all the work you put into this. Um, but it's important to look ahead. Um, I look ahead at people ahead of me, coaches who are way more diamonds than me and see where they're struggling and see what they're um, working on right now, because that's going to be where I'll be at some point. And I like to anticipate, you know, the struggles that they're having so that when I get there, it doesn't throw me for a loop. You know, I can sort of anticipate that this is going to be a struggle I'm going to have and I'm, I'm going to work through it and I'm not going to let it stop my business. But it's kind of nice to see what you might be up against in the future and what people who are ahead of you are dealing with because you can prepare yourself for it, come up with a plan for it, or at the very least, not let it scare you away. Um, I put in here my personal vision board. This is my current one. It gets updated every now and then. But these are some of the things I want to do for myself in the next year or a couple years. Um, as far as I would like to be able to travel more, my parents live in Florida and with my job, you know, I don't get as much time off to go see them whenever I want. I would like to be able to go whenever I want. Um, renovations, we have a little lake home that's really more of a shack and I would love to renovate it. Um, I would like to be able to travel more, you know, of course we all want to be out of debt, things like that. But mostly I want to just be able to be home with my kids because I work 12 and 24 hour shifts and it's a really long time away from my little ones at a time. And my little guys have a tough time with it at nighttime. So I want to not work so many long hours and be gone for so long. And I also do a business vision board. So that was my personal one. This is my vision one for September, October, November for the next three months. I want to be one star diamond by October. It's good to put dates on these. It really holds you accountable. Um, that would mean that when my husband would become diamond and that would place me at one star. Um, these are some other things. Some of them I've done. My website is up. I have some changes I want to make to it. I want to learn more about SEO, which just helps people find your website easier when they're doing web searches. Uh, some more Pinterest training because I took a little bit, but I need to learn more about that. These are my non-negotiables. Help three to five people a month. Try to sign two to three coaches a month. That's a minimum. Obviously, I would like to do more, but I try to make that my minimum. Um, I'm doing, working on some free groups here, and this is um, working on forming a nonprofit for our market council. So these are some of my business things I have. Evaluate them. You know, how are you doing? It's okay if you don't finish something. Just make sure you put it on to the next one so you don't leave something off and forget something. Then sometimes I don't do things about when I think I should, but at least I know I'm working on it and I know what I have ahead of me for my things. And this, I already made a board for December, January, February. I threw some things on there for the next couple of months after that. I'm going to be on maternity leave for some time and I'm really looking to build my beach body business so I don't have to go back to my second job after I come back from leave. So I have a dollar amount here I'd like to try to make for myself. Um, and I want to learn a little bit more about email marketing. I need to organize my contacts a little bit better. So these are all things that um, visual. So having this uh, really helps me stay on track with my business and go to the next thing. What am I working on right now? And what do I need to work on next month? And, and that's how I'm getting things done. If I didn't have that in front of me, it would just be a wish. It would just be a thought. But having that right in front of my eyes like that, it makes me feel like I have to do it. 
um, or else I won't feel accomplished. <laughs> I'm a little type A, so if it's in front of me, I feel like I have to do it. Um, I print this out and I bring it with me everywhere. And then of course I update it and look back on them. Business organization, I treat this like a job, just like I said before. I have non-negotiables, I attend all the calls, I go on success, I'm gonna be hopefully going on a success club trip. I went to Summit, um, even though I was pregnant, I had a blast. Um, you know, I'm very lucky I'm supported by my family in this business and they're okay with me going. Um, I, a business organization system is really important. It's something I'm working on right now. So, you know, doing your Google forms or your calendars, whatever works for you. You know, I'm thinking about doing Teamsy, things like that. Some people really love Google Streak. These are all the tools you use to keep your business organized. So it's important to really try out a few of them, talk to people who use them and pick one and go for it. Just do it and see. If it's not working out, then try another one. But there's a lot of tools out there. So you need to find something that keeps you organized and keeps you focused. Um, and sharing is caring. I think it's great to share with other coaches, things that you have, content that you're using, free groups. I'm always welcoming any coaches that want to invite anybody to my free groups because I'm already doing it. It doesn't hurt me to have other people. And sometimes it's nice to have extra support of the other coaches in the groups with me and bringing their own challengers. Um, I've never had a negative experience with it. So anything that anybody asks me, I'm happy to share my content. Why do more work? Because most people will be happy to share something that they have back with you. And I'm part of some Beachbody Facebook groups, and a lot of people do share. There's a pregnant Facebook group I'm part of, and we do share some of our content, which is nice. And I've had some struggles along the way. You know, there's a, a not much discouragement in my life. People know that I'm a Taurus. I'm a bull. I'm going to do whatever I want to do. So nobody really discourages me very much. But I know that there's a few people who aren't always encouraging about it. And they kind of take a middle road and they're like, network marketing, I don't know about that. Um, I wish I had a little bit more family or friend involvement. But um, I'm okay with that. You can't make people do things they don't want to do. So you just keep showing them how awesome it is and how great you are. And eventually people do start coming around. Um, my personal struggle is time with my son and family because I'm very into working my business and I do struggle with making sure to keep some time separate, not be on my phone when I'm at the playground with my son and just be present with him and not work my business at that time because my business is work sometimes in small pockets during the day rather than larger power hours. Um, and so I have to be just conscious, you know, that when I choose to work it for that 15 minutes that it is while he's napping and not, you know, trying to get my attention. So that's a personal struggle of most moms who work this business have. Um, and you just have to make, you know, rules for yourself as far as that goes. And of course, not being able to motivate others, people who you think would be awesome at working this business and they have no interest and you just can't get them to try it. It's frustrating for me because I have a few people I think would be wonderful and I haven't been able to convince them yet. Um, you know, and just doing no harm. It's hard for me to turn away people who maybe have other coaches that they're working with. A lot of people approach me because um, they feel like as a nurse or they have diabetes or they have lap band and they want to work with me, but they might have other coaches already they're working with. And as a nurse, that's really hard for me to tell them no, but as a business owner and a, and a beach body coach, it's really best to ask them to, you know, continue working with their coach and not take clients from other people. But um, I find as a nurse, that's something I struggle with because I found as a nurse to do no harm. And if they feel like they want to work with somebody different, I, I struggle with that. So it is something that I talk to my husband about often. And I talk to my upline about often. Um, and so that's one of my personal struggles within this business. So my business struggles, um, I'm picky about working coaches because I want people who are just like me. I don't want to have to really coddle people too much. I want self-learners and people who have good time management. Um, you know, so it, that's hard for me. Like sometimes I get picky about who I invite to coaching because I, I sometimes prejudge, which is what you shouldn't do. You should really invite everyone to coaching and let them determine how they want to take the business. Um, and for me, sometimes I don't do that. So I have to work on that. And that's something I can work on with my PD as well, my leadership and things like that. Um, time management, like I said before, my son, um, I don't have a set schedule for work, which makes it difficult to really, you know, schedule my beach body business. in. I have to sort of take it on the fly sometimes. Of course, pregnancy. I've been a beach body coach for 15 months and nine of them I've been pregnant. 
And a lot of people use pregnancy as the reason for why they can't coach anymore. They can't drink the shakes anymore. Um, they can't work out. They don't have energy. They just don't want to work the business. I've, I've seen it a lot because I'm in part of a bunch of different beach body pregnant groups. And for me, it was just sort of another way to show people that I'm going to have a healthy pregnancy using Beachbody. And, you know, this is how it's going to go for me. So not use it, but use it to my advantage and use it as a positive rather than a negative in my business. Um, also, you know, you can't make people work the business. Like I said before, a business struggle for me was when I have people who I think will be absolutely perfect in this business and you can't convince them. My contact organization, my contacts are a hot mess. This is something I've been trying to work on and organize and get more better so I don't let people fall through the cracks. And Jen knows I talk to her all the time about how it's on my list of things to do. And one day I'm going to check that off. Um, but I will work on that. And follow-ups. And the follow-ups sometimes lack because my contacts are a little disorganized. So those are some of the things I'm working on. So, you know, just to recap, you know, the four vital behaviors are really where it's at. Um, they're non-negotiable for me. You've got to do them every day. If you don't have time to work anything in your business, at least get those four vital behaviors in. Take advantage of all the training that's available to you out there because there's just so much and most of it's free. Um, so even if you can't do it live, save it, save the links and do it later when you're home, in your bed, when you're at work and you have some downtime. Um, at, at work, when I had downtime, I used to watch Netflix movies. I don't anymore. Now, at all my downtime at work, I'm watching Beachbody videos and YouTube videos on contact resources and all kinds of stuff like that. My husband doesn't understand why I can't keep up with all our Netflix movies anymore. But um, so all my free time, I, I spend on any free training that I get out there. And learning and planning, just always be learning because there's so much in this business to learn and to improve upon yourself. Um, plan out your business so that don't let, like Dave said, you know, don't always fall back on your upline to tell you exactly what to do next in your business. Plan it out for yourself and have a calendar and have, you know, your, your vision boards for yourself. Um, your business organization, treat it like a job, be your own boss, how, how you would want to, you know, run it like a, you're a business and you're an employee at your own business and treat yourself that way. And don't be your worst enemy, you know, never give up on this. Don't let somebody convince you, you know, that it's not the right thing. If you really love it and you love helping people get to their goal weight and get healthy. I mean, I have people who write me all the time who are coming off of diabetes medications. Um, their blood sugars are normalizing with Shakeology and they don't need meds anymore. And as a nurse, that's exactly why I do this. And that really take those conversations and put them in a dock somewhere. So any day that you feel like you don't, you can't do this anymore, or it's not worth the time you're putting into it or whatever it might be. And read those messages that you're getting from people because you made a difference for at least those people. And there's more out there that you can help too. And so that really helps keep me motivated. Um, I love it when people get healthy there. So this is my little goodbye. Thank you so much for tuning in and listening to a little bit of my spiel about how I got to where I am and how I've grown my business. And I hope to be here a lot longer with all of you. So thank you. Kristen, thank you so much. And let me tell you, I loved, I loved how you said that <laughs> You're trying to learn from others because when you get there, you want to know how to handle it. And that's the mindset, guys, of a winner, of somebody that's going to be super successful because she's already knowing, like she sees herself there before she's even there. And then if you back up one more step, you saw all of this content. I hope people are taking screenshots. The recording will be up or taking notes because this is what it's about, treating a business like a business. She's not waiting on her upline. She's not waiting on her coach. She's owning it. She's growing and she's doing this while working full time and pregnant and a thousand other things. So I absolutely, I love it. But my biggest nugget was you were looking about what you know the people are dealing with at the higher rank. So when you get there, you know, in fact, what to do, how you're going to deal with it. That was like an amazing nugget. So um, team, I want to uh, see if there's any um, any questions, Chris, you want to just hit stop share on your screen? Yeah, I'm sorry. I'll well, that's figure right. that out in a second here. So if guys, if there's any questions, maybe type them in the chat. I know it's unbelievable content. I'm reading the, the quotes, um, the comments. Um, oh, I haven't even read any of them. I'm sorry. No, that's Hold okay. On. I'm figuring no, out it's all good. Just it. in the bottom, it should say stop share. Oh, no, nah, it's not a big deal, guys. If you have I'm a sorry. question, just you definitely. Oh yeah, I see it. I see it now. Okay. 
<laughs> oh, there we go. No, no problem. Oh, you know, I really quick, Dave, I wanted to shout out to Jen Holman because I never would be where I am in this business without her because I've leaned on her so many times and she's really always focused my business in the direction I need to go. And without her there as a leader for me, I don't think I would be anywhere near where I am in this business. So Jen is my up, one of my upline coaches and, um, you know, I bounce so much off of her. So I'm very lucky when I join this team that I join with Team Spark and Team P. Some coaches in this business aren't that lucky. And like you said, Dave, you lost your coach. You didn't have that leadership. So I've done well, but I've done well because I've had people to learn from and people who are willing to teach me and take time. So I'm very grateful for that. Thank no, you absolutely. To the both and trust me, I'm grateful that I have Jen and have and you and people like you on this team. I really am. You guys are just awesome. Thanks. Guys, are there any um, questions? Anybody want to type in the chat? Anybody or unmute your line? Uh -huh. I see all the positive feedback. Thank you, everybody. I hope it wasn't too long. Awesome info. No, it was great. It was great, Chris. Good. All right. Yeah, anybody's welcome to contact me if you have any questions about things. I'm always very open. Guys, if you have any questions, good luck with the baby, all good stuff. If you have any questions, I know you can post on the Team Perseverance page or contact Kristen. The recording will be up tomorrow. Um, thank you guys so much for coming on the call. Let's have a great end of the month. There's still a couple of days left to hit Success Club. Get it done. Chris, you rocked it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. And guys, have a great, great night, and I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.